Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Shade, and if you're not new here, then welcome back. So as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing a dirty hair hairstyle tutorial type of video. I've seen a few on YouTube before, and I figured why not create one myself. I'm pretty sure I may have done one in the past. If not, then it was a blog post that I did. Either way, we are here, and I'm going to share with you guys some of the hairstyles that I like to do. So it's kind of like that model off duty type look that everyone is very much into right now and if you're like me and can go two weeks without washing their hair if that sounds gross i'm sorry but it works for me and i don't necessarily need to wash my hair regularly then these hairstyles are for you or if you're in a rush and you don't have time to wash your hair and you need a quick hairstyle then Hopefully you will get some ideas from this video. I'm going to be sharing the products that I use as well as the Luxy Hair extensions as well because I feel like they can add a little something to these looks and they're super easy to use. There's two ponytails that I'm going to share, the straight one, the curly one, and then there's also the bun if you guys are interested in using that. So I'm going to show you guys how you could do these hairstyles with them and without them. So let's get into the video. Keep in mind, I'm also not a professional hairstylist or anything by any means. So these are just things that work for me. The first one is going to be a slick back bun. And I'm terrible at parting my hair straight down the middle. My sister literally always tells me your hair is not parted properly, but it's fine. One day I'll hopefully get it right. What I like to do is I start by just going on my own and then I will go in with a brush and brush it in the direction that I want it to be. There's two brushes that I use, either my wet brush one, which actually has shine as you're brushing, or this random orange one that I got from a hair store. And I like this one because it really slicks everything down. So I just go in, brush, make sure to keep that part there. And then I'll just start brushing it up and making sure that I get everything. I personally don't use hairspray just because I don't really like it, but I will go in and use any oils to really just help slick everything down. The other thing you want to remember is to, one, you're not going to want to have it too low down, so I like to have it about here, kind of diagonal to your eyes and then it also gives you that kind of lifted look as well and then i just go in with a regular elastic or if you want you can go in with a scrunchie there you have it the oils that i use is either the whey hair oil or i use my thick hair oil which is from a local toronto brand so i'll alternate between the two if you want you can even go ahead brush it out a little bit so for this look personally, if I were going to use my Luxie hair extensions, I would go ahead and use the straight one to really have that sleek up do ponytail style. It has like that little comb here that you just slip through. I'll show you guys what it looks like with this in. I slip it through my ponytail and then wrap around with this piece and then secure it with a bobby pin. And voila, super easy. So if you wanna add some length, just throw in your Lexi hair extensions and this look is all done. The next look is the model off duty bun. So you could either have it high, you could have it low, whatever your preference is. It's super easy to do. You could pull out some French strands, you could use a hair tie that you want, or you could even use a scrunchie. So whatever you prefer, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do that look. It's super easy if you're already starting from the first look that we just did. I'm gonna go ahead, take my scrunchie, and then I'm just going to twirl my hair and then wrap it around and then place the scrunchie over. Because my hair is pretty short, it's a very small bun, but it gives you that kind of like ballerina look, model off duty type vibes. And I really like this. It's perfect for if you wanna throw on a pair of sweatpants and the top, have your hoops, do your hair like this, and it gives you that chic look. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go ahead and brush any pieces that may be sticking out or any flyaways. Again, if you like hairspray, you could go ahead, put some hairspray on your hands, and then just 
put everything in place. Like I mentioned with the Lexi hairs, they also have a bun, so you can go ahead and place that on if you would like as well. It's like a cap that you just put over your actual bun. It has some clips that you slide in and then a drawstring here to secure it. So you're going to place it however you'd like. You can make it messy, you can make it a little more sleek, and then just secure it with some bobby pins. There you go. If your bun is pretty small like mine would be because my hair is relatively short, then you could go ahead and add some volume by putting in the Lexi hair bun. Next we have the high pony which is something that everyone loves to do and of course if your hair is super oily or greasy you could always go ahead and put some dry shampoo just to hide that a bit. For this one I'm going to take out some front pieces and then go ahead and start my high bun. Once it's done I like to really pull it so that you can actually see the ponytail from the front and then you're just going to style the front pieces the way you like them and there we have it. Once again, like the first ponytail, if you want, you could go ahead, add your Lexi hair to give yourself some more length and just add a little something something to this look. For this one, I'm going to show you guys how I would do it with the curly ponytail to add a different vibe to it. Just go ahead, clip it through, and then twirl this piece around. It's basically a whole other vibe for this look. If you have a more fancy event or something to go to then this really elevates the look I find. Next we have the half up half down look. When you're doing this one you're going to decide how much of your hair you want to pull back. I personally like to just have everything from here all the way back. Again I like to put it higher up it kind of gives you that lifted look you could either keep it like this, and then if you want to go for the look where you have the front pieces out, you're going to go ahead and pull them out before you actually secure your half up ponytail. Another thing with this look, depending on how my hair is, I like to go in with the Way Wave hairspray just to add a little bit of texture to it. So. And then I'll just mess it around a little bit. Now for the final look, it's going to be a sleek low bun, but I'm going to go ahead and do a side part. I remember when I was younger, my aunt used to do this to my cousin and I all the time because that's how she always wore her hair. So this is a go-to look and what I love about this one is if you have some very intense makeup, it's the perfect look to just show off everything that you're working with and kind of just have your hair pulled back. The thing with this one is you really want to make sure that you brush this part in a very specific way because, for example, the way that it is right now, it has a whole different look than if you were to brush it back like this. So, there's that. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and take a pump of my way hair oil and just helps keep some of the pieces in place and add a little bit of that shine. I also find this oil to be very lightweight, very similar to my thick hair oil, so that's why I love the two and like to alternate. Hey, yeah. Again, if you'd like, you could go ahead and add your Luxie hair extensions, but I personally just like it the way that it is, even with my hair length. So that is it for all of the hairstyles that I like to alternate between when my hair is dirty or greasy and is in need of a wash but I don't have time. Hopefully you guys got some ideas from this video. Of course, feel free to leave any questions or any tips that you may have in the comment section down below. All of the products that I use will be linked in the description as well. So hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.
everyone, I'ma still need more time